Hi everyone, today I'm excited to share that we bought a house. So it's only natural that the first thing I want to do is show you guys an empty house tour. The nice thing about an empty house is that it makes me feel that much more minimalist, you know what I mean? Also forgive the echo, but there's no stuff in here to absorb the noise, so that's just the way it is right now. But I have to say, we're really, really excited. We've never owned a home before, so this is a really big deal for us and I'm excited to share it with you today. So without further ado, let me show you around. So here is the main entrance. This, when you walk in the front door, this is kind of what you see ahead of you, these beautiful big windows to look out. And then um, you see the main room, sort of the living family room with this big fireplace that I absolutely love. And I know we're just gonna enjoy that so much in the winter. So we're really excited about that. I also really love the light fixtures that they chose. I think those are pretty. And I love the color of the brick. And then we've got some built-ins, which is really nice. And this house is actually 100 years old. It was literally built in 1921. So we bought it right at the 100 year mark and I just love it. You can hear a little bit of creaking on the floors, but that just makes me happy. Here's the dining room. I love, again, this light fixture and those beams just add a little something. I love the built-ins and just the charm of the space makes me very, very happy. And I just love that everything was already painted and off-white before we arrived. Like, it, it felt like it was fate or something, like exactly what I would want. Now we're gonna come in here into our kitchen, which admittedly is a pretty small kitchen, especially considering that I love to cook. But it does have a gas stove, which is nice. And I kind of like the idea that when I stand in it, it's like I only have to turn a little bit to reach anything. And it's really all I need. We wanted to live in the city, and so we were okay with a slightly smaller kitchen and slightly smaller spaces. I also noticed there are little thoughtful details, like even the dishwasher is white, as is the refrigerator, at least for now, as is the microwave, so that it blends in with the white cabinets which I just think kind of makes it open and airy in this really nice way, given that it is a closed off kitchen. And this is our first floor bedroom. This house actually has four bedrooms technically. Um, this is considered one of them. And I actually think, we're not sure yet, but we might actually make this sort of an office slash guest room, just so that when I'm working at home during the day, I can be on the first floor. Plus, it's just a nice space for our guests to stay over there. So here is our first floor bathroom. And what's nice is that in old homes like this, it's pretty rare to have a full bath on the first floor. Like, at least in Minneapolis, that's pretty unheard of. And so this feels pretty spectacular to not only have a bathroom on the first floor, but also a full bath. So that when those guests stay in that first floor bathroom, they have a spot and I just, I love this porcelain spot for the faucet. Just so beautiful. The toilet and yeah, and the shower. And then a bunch of storage spots that are, that are quite shallow, but they work. Um, now I will go up to the second floor Hopefully I don't trip. I love the color of these wood floors, just so stunning. And I love how the, the steps turn. Okay, so here we are. A nice little like area out here when you first walk up the steps and another window. Um, there are two bedrooms upstairs. So here's one of them and they're about 10 by 14, so for an old home like this, I think it's pretty spacious. And nice closet. And I love, there's like this little attic area, which is kind of fun. You can't really see it. 
but for extra storage if I ever need it or for expanding if we ever want to expand the upstairs. But just a beautiful room. Now moving over here. This is what I think we plan to make our master bedroom. Again, it's about 10 by 14 feet. Um, I love this, I don't know if it's beadboard or what you'd call it, but that's around. All those little details make this home that much more charming, at least in my opinion. They have renovated this area, so it's nice. We've got a mirror right there. And for an old home, I would say, a pretty large closet with a light inside. So I'm excited about that. I'm sure you guys will see my closet in the future. A little bit more storage. Again, it's pretty shallow, so not too much, but a bit. And then our bathroom upstairs. And it's not massive, but it's really all we need. And I think, again, it's quite charming. So now we're gonna go down to the basement. We're coming off of the kitchen. Okay, here we go. So here's the basement. One great thing that I love is straight across, we've got this pantry, which I think is also a danger zone for someone like me who's trying to pursue minimalism. But I do think that given how little space there is in the kitchen, this might come in helpful for things like paper towels or toilet paper or just big items um, that maybe we do have to buy sort of in bulk. So I think this is really a nice space to have in the basement. You can see it just kind of ends there. And amazingly, we have a third bathroom also with a shower which again, in these Minneapolis homes, I think is pretty rare, like these old ones in the city. Um, I love that. So there's that bathroom. Then our washer, dryer, and a little sink there, just a station for doing laundry. And then this space is just kind of like a random area, maybe like a little place for practicing music or a place to study, put a desk here. I'm not sure what we're gonna use with the space yet, but it's this nice little niche. We've got, you know, typical basement stuff. And then this is technically what's considered to be the fourth bedroom. I don't know if we'll ever use it as a bedroom, but I do love that it could be because of that egress window. I think we're gonna put a couch here and make this a movie room. We just love to watch movies. So we're pretty excited about this. I will say this house is definitely more than we need, just the two of us, but I think we're gonna have fun with it. And then it also gives us space to eventually someday grow. So that is our new home. And I have to say, we are just so excited. We feel so lucky to be here. And I just had to share it with you guys because empty house tours are a thing, right? At least I've enjoyed those on YouTube. So thought I would share it with you guys since this is so new and exciting for us. But that's all I have for you today. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye.